Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and today I want to talk about a very simple modification you can do to an RV that I think generally just enhances its use and function. So you like everything about your camper, but every time you go to get in the dinette, ah, oh, I literally did that. I misjudged distance. That's not even an act. Oh, that's going on the highlight reel. Anyway, so exactly, I couldn't have planned that better. Don't try this at home. So exactly what I just did. Is there a funny bone in your knee? Oh my God. Anyway, so you go to get in the dinette and every time you crack your knees like I just did, well, that's not fun, obviously. So then you're sitting here and as you're entertaining or hanging out with friends or family, it's like you're always foot fighting, trying to find space down here where there's no dining posts or anything like that. I like a booth dinette. It doesn't bother me. Some people don't. That's fine. But um, I like that you have extra storage below it. I like that it's a bonus sleeper. It's useful. You can do stuff with it. But these stupid things, what can you do with them? Well, there's a couple pretty easy solutions, actually. One solution is one of these fancy pants elliptical base, uh, you know, table things here. All you need to do, you just unscrew the little uh, area where the pedestals hook up into the table, and you actually reuse the same tabletop. You just swap out the base. These are kind of nice because now the table's free floating, so I can sort of cheat the table on one side of the camper or the other. The other, the one thing this really does that nothing else does though, is you can turn this into a coffee table, and you can maybe move it in front of the couch or something like that. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't solve the problem of the, the foot fighting and the knee knocking. And that's why I actually prefer the lowest dollar solution possible. And the answer for me is just a simple set of inexpensive folding legs. You can screw them right back to the bottom of the exact same tabletop after you take the pedestals off. Interestingly, most of the time, you don't even need to take the pedestal bases off the bottom of this table. You just might want to take them out of the floor, but you probably don't have to. Now, um, this is one of the things I like about the open range ultra and light travel trailers and fifth wheels that we have here at Halo RV. This is the standard table. The funny thing is, people walk into a camper with one of these brand new, and they see these legs, and they instantly say, well, this whole camper must be a cheap piece of junk. When in reality, it's far more intelligent than a lot of folks realize. This is exactly the kind of booth setup that I would tend to put into all, virtually any camper that I use. I'll take a, I tend to camp basic, I camp simple, and I will swap out fancy pants expensive uh, systems and pedestal booths for one of these every single day of the week. I have more leg room in here. It is the least obtrusive way that you can make pretty much any dinette table work. And it's fully portable. If I want to move it over there, if I want to take it outside for picnic time, it's fully capable of doing all that. And guys, we're talking 28 to maybe $40 worth of hardware here. And I am not Tim the Tool Man. If I can do this with a power drill uh, or a power screwdriver, as it were, see, I don't even know tools names properly. You get the point. If I can do it, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Um, there is technically another option called a dream dinette. And you'll tend to find those in like a lot of motorhomes or like the Jayco Eagles with a booth dinette that we'd have here at Halo RV. The reason I'm not really talking about these in reference to upgrading a pedestal table in terms of modifying an RV is because those systems have to be pre-planned by the RV manufacturer. They have to have basically like aluminum or galvanized steel plates laminated into the associated wall for you to tap into. So, uh, and, and many conventionally constructed campers or stick-built campers, as the industry tongue-in-cheek term goes, they may not always have a wall stud where you need them to reliably install a Dream Dinette. Plus, usually, the inside seating area of a Dream Dinette, you have virtually no leg room. I can't sit on the inside of those things. I will gouge and bash my legs up every time. Although, the most recent update to Jayco's uh, Dream Dinettes on the Eagles again and their motorhomes, pretty much the best I've seen. But the ones with the old gas strut, they're not going to get the job done. So what I'd love to know is, folks at home, if you've come up with any other kind of interesting or different solutions for something like this, I'm all ears. I love, I love 
learning from you folks at home. I learned so much from you guys at home, it's not even funny. A lot of people say I learned a lot from you, Josh. I learned a lot from you folks. So I appreciate that. And with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.